Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Yeah. Let me ask you this. Do you think, like, because I, I go back to the rap music a lot, you know. Do you think that the Jay-Z's and these guys that are in these big positions, uh, the billionaires, do they? Do you think that that help is there for the youth? Are any of those people helping, like the Jay-Z's? Why, why, well, listen, why should they? Why should a billionaire come help? Why should he come from all the way up there to down here when there's so much money down here? Why are we okay. looking up there to them? When we's blowing, when we don't do for our own kids, why are we looking for Jay Z and them to help us with our cousins and our homeboys and our homegirls and them kids? Because people in a whole who are in a bad situation, um, when they see someone who leaves their community, yeah, he didn't start off a billionaire it, and made it. They're always looking for that person to turn back and reach back and help them. So out who do so who do you help when you get your income tax, po motherfucker? <laughs> when you get your income tax money, who do you help? So why should they help us? When you get your money, who do you look back in your family and say, man, let me go help my niece over there. She got all them goddamn kids over there and she got a sour ass nigga yeah, over there. Yeah. So why would Jay-Z and them come help these people? When you help them, well, you already see what they do with their stimulus money. You already see what the people who run the, the, the people who run the, the, the little league sports team, you already see what they do with the money. They steal it. So who would give us money? We've already been proven what we'll do with our money. We're going to go buy a Cadillac. We're going to go buy the soap. Clothes, so why would those, so I learned that running a 501c3. They said, Charleston, why would anybody give you money? And they see you can't go get money from your own people. So why would they give us money and the people around us ain't giving us money? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I can't see that. I've always, I've always talked about a lack of education where stuff like that is concerned because it always hurts me when um, people get their income tax money and the first thing they go and do is, you know, shopping and do all, instead of investing, instead of saving that money, putting it up, doing different things and help that money grow for you. No, uh-uh. <laughs> Don't do that. Y'all just said, that's what the billionaires is doing. Mm -hmm. But we want the billionaires to stop doing what you just said do and come help the people that won't do that. You want Jay, we want Jay-Z. We want Tyler Perry. We want Oprah Winfrey. We want all these billionaire black people to stop doing what you just said poor people should be doing with their income tax money. Mm -hmm. And they come give their money. God called that casting your money away to the casting swine. your swine, swine, pearls, pearls to the swine. To the swine. Mm -hmm. So why would they cast to poor people? You go come create a program only for their kid to go to prison. Programs don't prevent children from going to prison. Mm -hmm. Home life does. That's true. Yeah. So do you feel like? You think you should have recanted your statement on DMX? No, nah, fuck DMX. Nigga dope fiend ass. Nigga, what I'm going to recant it for? Nigga died a dope fiend, man. But you had gotten a lot of hate from that stuff. Yeah, man. I wouldn't give a damn. Even from friends. I wouldn't give a damn. They ain't helped me pay now. Bill, my sheets still clean. Me and my wife still fuck like we love each other. <laughs> uh, nigga, what think I give a damn about a motherfucker mad about what I done say? Nigga, fuck everybody who mad about DMX. They ain't sent his children nothing. They ain't even mentioned his name. Matter of fact, I ain't even heard a DMX song, nigga. That's, I told y'all wasn't nobody even gonna be mentioned. Had y'all not brought him up, wasn't anybody think about that motherfucker. It, it, you th it, it was just pretty much water under the bridge after Man, two months. Man, once a dope fiend nigga die, uh, he wasn't no hell of a nigga in the world. Nobody cares about rappers but poor people. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.